What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. This is going to be a little bit of a different review video than I normally do. Xantrex wanted me to use a specific format for the video which is more of a personal life story than I'm usually used to doing. So you're not going to hear as much about the technical characteristics and the pros and cons and my impressions of the product as you normally would. But if you have any specific questions leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you. My name is Jason Lee. I'm a YouTuber, I'm a consultant, and I live in Dallas, Texas. This story is about my family. This is my daughter Jocelyn. She's three years old. She has autism, epilepsy, and cerebral palsy, as well as a genetic disorder that gives her small brain vessel disease. And this little guy is our four month old. His name is Caden. He was born with a lymphatic malformation, which caused him to have a large growth grow on his neck. He spent the first two months of his life in a level four NICU in Houston, Texas at Texas Children's. And he's been home now for about two months. He had a tracheostomy so that he can breathe on his own through a trach tube there you see under his neck. But he has to have around the clock care by nurses and by his mom. our family room where Caden spends most of his time when he's with his nurses. Uh, he has all this medical equipment that has to run uh, at various times through the day to help keep him healthy and strong. There are cords and tubes and wires everywhere as you can see. He also has a feeding machine as you see here that feeds him through a G button that goes directly into his stomach. So this presented me with a unique challenge as a father. How do I make sure that I provide a level of care for my children with two medically dependent children? Especially Caden when he can't live without his devices. We live in North Texas where we're prone to severe weather, thunderstorms, ice storms, all that kind of stuff, an occasional tornado. If we had an extended power outage, we might be in some trouble, and that's where Xantrex comes into the picture. I decided to use a Xantrex PowerHub 1800 to provide backup power in case we needed it. My wife and I decided to install this in our master bedroom where this chest freezer is which holds all of Caden's breast milk. If the power went out, we could easily move him into the crib in our master bedroom along with his medical equipment, but we'd have a much harder time moving this chest freezer with all of this milk in it. And the logical place to put it seems to be underneath the crib where there's plenty of space to put the power hub. The first thing that I needed to do was mount the inverter to the battery box enclosure. The next thing I was instructed to do was put a battery or batteries into the battery box enclosure. One important thing to point out is that I'm using a flooded lead acid battery for demonstration purposes only. This will be swapped out with a sealed lead acid battery before I use it. Next I connected the battery cables through this little access panel on the side of the inverter. Then it was time to put the lid on the battery box enclosure. And finally this piece of plastic could be removed so that the front plastic piece could be set into the battery box enclosure. Time to plug it in and see what happens. So right now I have this installed in a hybrid setup where it's not quite soft wired and it's not quite hard wired. Usually in a soft wired setup you would have it connected to a generator which would provide the power to recharge the batteries. But in a hard wired setup you would normally have it connected to the grid in your house permanently by an electrician. So in this configuration when I have it plugged in it goes into bypass mode. When I unplug it like I just did it now begins to provide power from the battery. In the future I hope to provide power through my solar panels for this setup and that's why I only have it set up soft wire to the wall at this point. So now I want to plug in some loads and see what happens when it is unplugged and it's running off of the battery. This isn't going to stress the system out much but I went and grabbed a lamp to plug it in and see what would happen. Even though this inverter is a modified sine wave inverter, it seemed to have no problems with lights or other devices that I plugged in to test. I've always been impressed with Xantrex products in the past and this device is no exception. I know that once I get a sealed lead acid battery and get this hooked up for real, I'm going to have no problem sleeping at night knowing my family's taken care of.
Thanks for watching this video. If you're interested in the PowerHub 1800, please click the link in the video description.